okay, so when you yes. castling, the purpose of castling yeah. is so that you can protect your king as well as um, get your rook in the game. Let me, let me give you an example. Let's say I play e4, my opponent play e5. Then I play bishop to charlie four, my opponent play bishop to charlie five. I play knight to f3, my opponent play knight to f6. Then I castle, one, two, jump. Let's go back in slow motion so you can see that. One, two, and jump. Now, when I do that, now I can, play, I can use my rook, my rook is available, and my king is safe. If your king is in the center, she can get in trouble. So the castling is a maneuver. It's a king maneuver. It's not a rook maneuver. So you must touch the king first. Touch what first? The king. Right. If you touch the rook first, they're going to make you move your rook. And you can't castle. So touch the king first. Move the king over twice. How many times? Twice. One and two, and then you jump. OK. Let me go back in slow motion. Move the king first, one, two, and the rook goes next to the king, touching the king, bam, like so. Let's go back to slow motion. One, two, jump. Now black can do the same, one, two, jump. Now, I was telling Greg last week that if I play him, I may not castle because I got, I got some tricks. But I'm a trained professional. For you, for the most part, you guys need to castle. Uh, but there are tricks in not castling. On a professional level, sometimes they castle, sometimes they don't. Sometimes castling is a bad move because they know where you live. But mm -hmm. on your level, all you need to know is to castle as soon as possible. OK. So let's talk about some principles of chess today. So principles of chess is don't move a lot of pawns and get your big pieces out the back row as soon as possible. Well, let, let me show you what that means. Move this pawn up here. Move this. Uh, and let's say he moved his knight out. Let's say you bring your knight out. Let's say bishop. Let's say you bring, let's say he go here. Let's say you go here. Let's say he go here, here, and let's say he go here. You castle. Let's say you go here, you go here. Now, I didn't move a lot of pawns, and neither did black. So don't move a lot of pawns, because some people think it's about moving a lot of pawns. Mm -hmm. Here's why you don't want to move a lot of pawns. If you move a lot of pawns, you can't go back. The pawns can never go back. So the pawns are the only piece on the board that can never go back. OK, so the key to winning in chess Okay, so the key to winning in chess is to use all your resources. The key to winning in life is to use all your resources. I want also remind you guys to drink uh, plenty of water. Question. Yeah. Does the, the file numbering, does it always start from the white side? Yeah, file A. I mean, when you set it, <clears throat> let me talk about the board. <clears throat> when you set in the board up, white has to be in the right hand corner and the queen goes on her color. So remember that white has this, this square has to be white mm -hmm. and this queen must go on her color. And A, mm -hmm. one and two is always white and seven and eight is black. Now that's a reason for that. The reason one and two is white and seven and eight is black is that each square has its own name. And if you have the black over here, then the, the, the coordinates will be off. So when you're setting the board up, one and two is white. This is one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Seven and eight is black. Queen goes on her color, and white must be in the right-hand corner. So white on right and queen on her color. Her shoes must match her dress. Now, the queen is the most powerful piece on the board. Mm -hmm. She's the most powerful piece on the board. And the value of the queen is worth nine. The next most value piece is the rook. The rook is worth five. 
The next most valued piece is the bishop. The bishop is worth three. The next most powerful piece is the knight. The knight is worth three. The next most valued piece is the pawn. The pawn is worth one. And the most powerful, the most important piece on the board is the king. Now, it's not the most powerful piece. The queen is the most powerful. Mm -hmm. But the king is the most important because if you trap the king, the game is what? Over. Over. So, in, in essence, the king is worth 39 points, if you want to look at it that way, because the king is worth all the pieces combined. So, what that means is you are you guys are secret service. All these pieces are secret service. Your job is to protect the president. The president is here. And so, you got to do whatever it takes to protect the king. Now, the most powerful piece is the queen. So, if you saw the movie... Um, X-Men, they said uh, the pawns go first. The pawns go first because the pawn is only worth one. However, don't get it twisted. A pawn can become a queen. So even though a lot of people, they don't uh, respect the pawns, but sometimes a pawn can be, could be paying a mortgage. Um, <laughs> sometimes a pawn can be paying a mortgage. Okay, now, let's look at a, let's look at a position on the board. And let's see if y'all can solve it. Orrin. Yeah. Orrin, I've got a question. Go for it. Can you, or, and what would it look like, a castle to the opposite side? Mm. Great question. I'll show you. It's the same thing. It's one, two, jump. One, two, what? One, two, jump? Yeah, it's always the same. The, the formula's the same. The formula don't change. No matter what the numbers do, the, the formula stay the same. So let's say I castle to the queen side, or I can castle to the king side, it doesn't matter. I'm going to castle both sides. Well, you only can pick one. Let's say, for example, I want to castle to the queen side. It's one, two, jump. Oh, okay. Hang on. I, I'm going to do it to the other side. Now, let me do it to this side. Boom. It's the same thing. It's still one, two, jump. However, have you noticed that when I do it to the queen side, I got Ooh. some extra space over three. here? Three. Well, you that? took three. Yeah. Because this is, you're doing it to the queen side. Now, as a rule, it's inferior to castle to the queen side. As a rule. Let me give you an example why. Let's say you castle to the queen side and I capture this. Now I'm threatening mate. That, this is mate. Bam. So you got to be careful with that. You got to be careful that white don't have no ammunition lined up over here when you castle over there. Like, let's say you castle over there and I do something like this. And then you go here to threaten to kill the rook. And then I play here. Let's say this bishop is not here. And now that's checkmate. So you got to be careful with castling to the queen side. Oh, but all I'm saying is look before you move to make sure that it's okay. Sometimes it's okay, sometimes it's not. You just got to be mindful that if you castle, you got to make sure you're not walking into a line of fire. Because the key to winning in life is to think before you move. The key to winning in chess is to think before you move because you can make one move in life and never recover. Don't do the first thing that pops in your head, Mary, because here's what happens. I was answering an ad on TV, this, on, on Facebook this morning, and a guy said, if somebody hit me at work, I'm going to hit back and I'm going to jail. And I said to myself, that's a bad move. I said, you go to jail, now you just lost your job on some silliness. I said, what we got to do in a case like that you got to think things through and not not uh, do a knee-jerk reaction and hit back. So my method to young people as well as adults is to think it through and to choose peace instead of violence. Now, who's ready to challenge me? Margaret. I volunteer Margaret. Margaret ain't ready yet. All right, but let's see. Do I have anybody that's new to the class today? <laughs> <laughs> I am brand new. Carol Sills, glad to meet you and see you all. Okay, do I see you on the screen? Yes. Oh, I see you, Carol. Okay, so. We spoke yesterday. All right, okay, wonderful. Let me just say this to you. Are you familiar with the chess game board at all? Well, very little. Okay, uh, well, let me just I, I know it's the white and the black. Okay, well, let me just say this to you. See one and two right here? One and two? One and two is called a rank. So you have eight ranks. You have one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those are ranks. Okay. And this here is file. File A, file B, file C, 
file D, file E, file L, file G, and so on. Now, each square has its own name. That's important because I may say put my knight on F3. That's F3 right there. So, each square has its own name. The purpose of the game is to trap this dude, the king. And, and obviously, black is trying to capture my king. And so the purpose of the game is to protect your king and go out to your opponent king. And so that's, that's the bottom line. Kept grabbing pawns and grabbing queens is not really what it's about. Now, the beauty of taking someone queen or pieces is that it gives you more power to, to win the game, but that may not always be the case. Uh, a lot of times people lose in chess is because of the, the same reason they lose in life. And it, what I'm about to say is huge. The reason people lose in chess and the reason they lose in life is greed. People are greedy. And greed is not good. And so what you got to be mindful is that if there's something free on the board, you got to ask yourself, is this a trap? Hmm. So here's the key. Here's my teacher. Here's a teachable moment. Powerful people ask powerful questions. Questions still focus. And in this world, you only get what you focus on. And so you have to focus and you have to ask yourself powerful questions. So the question is, what do I do before I take something free? Well, you got to look and see if it's a trap. It could be a trap. The number one reason people fail in life is greed. The jails are filled with people who are greedy, mm -hmm. thinking about them. But if you focus on other people and how you can serve other people, good things happen. Now, let me just show you how all the pieces are set up. Okay, the queen goes on her color. You have a bishop. You have a bishop here, a rook here, a pawn here. Okay, from where? Knight, pawn, okay, and pawn. Oh, I keep grabbing. You got too many queens, white queens. I'll fix it, brother. I'll fix it. I'll fix it, brother. We, we got a long way to go. I'll fix it, I promise. Okay, let me just set this up, okay? So we got this here, get this pawn here. Okay, all right, now. We got a knight here, bishop here, bishop here, queen here. Let's need a knight here. Pawn, okay, so Carol, the queen married the king. So remember this, the queen married the king. They got married by the bishop. They ran off on a night and they went to the castle. And the pawns are the children. Okay. So let's recap. The queen married who? The king. The king. They married by, the by who? By the, the bishop. bishop. They ran off on a, on on a night. night. Um, the horse. Yeah. Don't say a horse. Yes. If you say knight. knight, they'll think you have a PhD from Harvard. If you say <laughs> horse, they're gonna say this person dropped out of high school. <laughs> and, um, that way you have the PhD. <laughs> so say knight. <laughs> Don't say horse. Uh, you gotta you gotta make it, you gotta come what about pony. Don't even say pony. Say knight. The queen. Knight. Queen, they got married by the bishop. They ran up on yeah. the castle. Right. And the pawns have the children. Now, oh, wow. I'll show you how to checkmate someone in two moves, uh, Carol. Wow. If white make a mistake and play f4, play e6. If white play g4, the game is over because the queen can go oh here. My God. And that's checkmate in two moves. Mm. That's Just a quick cool. question here, sir. Is there, what's the conventional opening? Is there a set opening that it's probably considered to be the safest or the most advantageous. Yeah, yeah, I'll show you. The most safe is the most the most popular chess opening in the world is E4. Now, why is e4. that so? Let me tell you why. Because if black play E5, you play bishop out. If black play knight here, you play your queen out. And if black bring his knight out, the game is over. You just checkmate her mm. four moves. This is called scholar's mate. E4. Mm. Mm, uh, mm. Is the gotcha. Over. So let's go back in slow motion. Yes, sir. Let's go back in slow motion. All right, I'm gonna put it back. 
And so that means you can do the same thing. You can do your uh, husband like this or, or spouse. Okay. You play E4, they play E4. You play Bishop to Charlie 5. If they play Bishop to Charlie 5, you just play Queen here. If they play Knight to F6, the game is over. Bam. Oh, my God. Our queen is kissing the queen. <laughs> That's queen. fool's mate. That's not fool's mate. No, fool's mate is a different one. I'll show you that in a minute. Fool's mate is when you take mate someone in two moves. This is called... This is called scholar's mate. What is it called? Scholar's mate. Mm -hmm. What's we'll say it again? Scholar. You are you a gentleman and a scholar. So it's scholar's mate. Scholar mate. Scholar. scholar. Okay, yeah. So let's go back in slow motion so you can see what I did. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Slow motion so you can see it. Okay. So the idea is open up with the e pawn. Mm -hmm. If he copy you, bring your bishop out. He copy you here, bring your queen out. He bring his knight out, the mm. game is over. Now, let yeah. me show you something. I can take here, and my bishop and queen are working on the same highway. Ah. When, you yeah. are, when right. what you say and what you do is in alignment, what you say, what you do, and what you believe is in alignment, you can win every time. The bishop and queen are in alignment. Now, let me mm. show you how I play somebody on TV who tried to stop me from doing that trick. Because he had been to my, he, he was, uh, it was on uh, CBS News. And in fact, you Google me, you can see it on TV. But here's, here's what happened. My opponent, my opponent tried to be clever. So I played E4, he played E5. I played Bishop to Charlie 4, he played Bishop to Charlie 5. Mm. I played Queen to Henry 5, threatening this checkmate. He realized that, so he said, I'm going to stop it. So he played one, two, turn. Now, the knight moves in a capital A. One, two, turn. Help me out, Greg. One, two. One, two, turn. Two, turn. So uh, I one, the checkmate. two, if I, turn. If I took so you take, checkmate, if, Margaret. If you, if you take that, that pawn, I will just turn you over. Right. If I go right. here, he'll kill me with the, with the knight. So that's yeah. a move. So I can't do that. OK? Mm. So I have to do a trick move. Say trick move. Hit move. Hit move. So now I'm going to look left, throw right. In, in football, sometimes the quarterback will look left and then throw the ball right. Because if he looked to the right, the defense will go to the right. So he throw the, he looked left to throw the defense off. So in this case, I'm going to look left and fake like I want to kill this bishop. I'm just faking it. And so he bishop takes pawn. And now I do what we call remove the guard. I bishop takes knight. He takes back. And now I got what I want. Check me. Ah. <laughs> remove the guard. There are obstacles out there. So what you have to do is remove your obstacles. And here's, here's the good news. This is a teachable moment. This is huge, by the way. No matter what you do, you will have opposition. <laughs> Question. Question. No matter what you do, you're going to have some opposition. People are trying to block you. You hear me? So, now, question. Yeah. Uh, instead of doing what you did, could you have moved the queen to e5 to attack uh, the opponent's king straight away? Taking the e5 is, is, is a, a horrible move. Let me show you why. Mm -hmm. If I go e5, what if his bishop go gobble gobble? No, but mm -hmm. the bishop wasn't there at that time. No, nah, well, well, Okay, let's go back. Let's go. Let's play the whole game then back. Let's go back. Yeah. Okay, let's see. But I promise you it's not a good move because I, I made the best move because the game is over. You got what I'm saying? Anytime mm -hmm. the game is over, <laughs> all right, let's go back. Okay, so you saying... Mind mind the arrangement. There's a black... Got a black, black knight okay. bishop there. Need to be white. Okay. Yeah. So... E4, E5, bishop here, bishop here, queen here, knight here. Uh, taking here is not good. If I take here, I mean, don't get me wrong, taking here is okay, but this is better because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill the bishop and I'm going to win the game. Okay. You see that? Yeah. But mm -hmm. if you did that, just for the so purpose of learning, if let's, you did that, what will happen? Let, let's not do that then. Let's just do it your way. Let me just show you a trick. Let's just say I don't do that. Let's say I take here. He yeah. got to do that. 
I ain't got nothing. Oh. oh, I see. Yeah, so the way I did it, I'm the game is over, yes? Yeah. I mean, yes. I mean, the way you were, I could probably, you know, win a few pawns and uh, get a few crowns. We don't want no crumbs. We want, we want to make brilliant moves. So let's sh let me show you what the fool's mate look like. The fool's mate, which is Greg talked about, is E F four, E six, H four, checkmate, which is fool's mate. That's fool's mate because the game is over. Now let me show you scholar's mate. There's a difference. Okay, now just a quick question here, checkmate. Uh, when when you w instead of moving that double space, I should have just moved it one space to protect that front my pawn. Who, who you, 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 you moved parallel, so you went there. Go ahead first. Right, you went see. here. Now, if I go F four and he go, here, so instead of coming all the way up here, I just stayed here, and that be it. You can't, you can't fool yeah, me on that. But if you, if you do, if you, you want to play this out, I'm, I'm gonna beat you for doing that. You want to play mm -hmm. this out? What? I'm gonna beat you anyway. You want to play this? I game? know you're gonna beat me anyway. I'm not talking about it. I'm saying you just can't fool me as a mate right there. That's all I'm saying. What I'm, what I'm gonna show you though. Is that this is kind of it's it's not bad, but it's kind of weak. Cause where's your king gonna go? That <laughs> so I'm gonna attack you on these squares. Okay. Yeah. Now let me just share something with you guys. A couple of points. When you play in chess and you lose a piece, it's no big deal if you lose a piece. Keep playing because if your opponent just has a bishop and all the pawns are gone. They can't check me with just a bishop. If your opponent has two knights and all the pawns are gone, they can't checkmate you with two knights. So let's say you lose two of your knights and your opponent is up to knight. Well, take all his pawns. If all his pawns are gone, then they can't checkmate you with two knights. Now, if he has a bishop and a knight, that's a different story. He can checkmate you. So let's talk. And the point I, was, I really wanted to make, Aaron, on that is that in – Whenever you move a piece, you should try to ensure that that piece is protected by another piece. Not, no. So instead not, of having two pawns not, parallel, you should that, have that, them that's diagonal. Not that's not true. But what here is what here is what's true. Sometimes right. I will move pieces. I want you to take that piece. Okay, that's let an let argument. Me, yeah. Let me show y'all a game that I played. You're before. setting a trap. Yeah, I set a trap. Let me see if I can find a game right quick. Uh, let me see here. Uh, let me stop a decoy. I'm gonna try. Let me see if I can find something right quick to show you guys. Boom. Let me see if I can find this game. Well, you will. You will admit that protection is a is a, is a major major co component of the game. To a point, protection to a point. Make make sure your pieces are covered. But here's a trick. Move. Here's a trick for you. When someone threatens some of yours, do something. Threaten something greater of his and leave what you. Leave what he's threatening of yours alone. That's called an intermezzo. Sometimes people will take some of yours and you don't take back because you do something else. And you can get back to that a lot of late, a lot, a lot later. Let me see if I can find something. Anyway, I, I don't have to find it. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just show you something. Are all the basics? I just have a, a question. Are all the basics like what each piece can do written somewhere? It, yes. Yeah. I sent you the book. It's in the book. It's in the book. It's in the book. Gotta okay. read the book. Yeah, read the book. It's in the book. But let me just say, let's say if it's not in the book, let me just show you something. I'm gonna just share share a screen real quick. Okay. Let me just show you how all the pieces move. Pawns move straight ahead. Bishop moves straight on a straight line. Knight moves in a capital L. One, two, turn. This is zero. Say zero. 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 One, two, and then you turn. Now you can go left or right. You can go once you turn this way. Or you go once you turn this way. So the bishop moves on a straight line on a slant. It stays on this color. Pawns can either move one or two. I can go one or I can go two. It's inferior to go one on the first move, particularly in the front, because you block it in your resources. So on your first move, step up to two moves. Now I don't have to, I can go one. So pawns either move one or two. Bishop moves in a straight line on a slant. Knight moves in a capital L. Capital what? L. L. And the rook moves side to side and straight ahead. However, the rook has no future now because my pieces are in the way. But let me get them out. 
If these pieces are out of the way, now my roof can go side to side. You see that? See how the roof moves? And let's get this bishop out of here. Now these rooks can, can see each other and they can move anywhere in this highway. And if this pawn is gone, I can go here. You see that? So the rook moves side to side and straight ahead. Now the rook can capture here, but it's a bad move because if I capture, the rook will capture me back. Mm -hmm. So the knight moves on a capital L, bishop moves on a slant, bishop stays on this color, by the way. So this bishop here stays on blue the whole time. This stays on white the whole time. In this situation here, Greg, what's the winning move for white if white had to move? You can take the rook. Checkmate. Don't take the rook. Taking the rook is inferior. If oh. I take here, the game is what? Oh, right. now, let me say, let me say this to you. This is worth a lot. This is he. Taking the rook is brilliant, and I will win if I take the rook. But taking the this move here is is better than brilliant because yeah. the game is what the checkmate. Yeah, the game is over. So don't get it wrong. Taking here is okay and it's brilliant, but we want better than what brilliant. We want the game. The game is over now because the king is in danger and the king has nowhere to go. In this case here, the bishop is kissing the the bishop is kissing the king, and that's a good thing because the king has nowhere to go. So let's mm -hmm. recap on how the pawns move. Pawns move straight ahead. Okay. Now here's different. Let me tell you this about the pawn. The pawn capture different from the way it moves. Let's say for an example, black goes here. What can this pawn take? Take the right. pawn. It, captures a, it captures on a slant. And let's say I go here and go here, and let's say he go here and I go here. Let's say I go here. If this pawn makes it to here, that pawn can become a what? A, a queen. 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 It can be a queen or whatever you queen. Do. I'm going to get a queen. The game is what? Oh. Yeah. The game is over because that's checkmate. You see that? <laughs> so, so, Carol, you can have as many as nine queens on the board because each pawn wow, can become wow, a queen. Wow. Uh, you see, isn't that clever? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I mean, between me and you, you won't need no more than two queens to checkmate somebody. And sometimes when you have a lot of queens, you end up losing the game because you'll, you'll get a stalemate. A stalemate is when you have too much power. Sometimes you can have too much power. Too much power is uh, create a stalemate. Stalemate means no one wins. Stalemate means a draw. Stalemate means point five. Point five means half a point. Okay, now I'm gonna show you. In the White House, yeah. Any any questions? All right, we talked about the knight. We talked about the rook. We talked about the bishop. Oh, let me show you about castling, just in case you may not. Know. Okay, castling is when I open the garage door, get my bishop out, get my knight out, and then I do a one, two, jump. That's castle. Mm -hmm. Now black can do the same. Once he gets his pieces out, he can do the same. Okay? Now once you castle, okay? once you castle one time, that's it. You don't only castle one time. And another okay. thing about castle, okay. you can never castle if your king has been threatened. Okay. For example, let's say I put you in check and you go, oh no, I'm going to castle. Now you can't castle out of check. You can do uh, three things when you're in check. You want something from him. You can do three things when you're in check. You can run, you can capture or you can block. What can you do? Run, run, run capture, capture, or block. 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 Now, those are your only options. Now, here's another trick. Let's say I want a castle, but this bishop is beaming here. I can't castle because I cannot castle my king and in, to danger. And your king can never cross danger. Let's say I have a Let's say this bishop is over here. Let's forget about it. Let's say I have a bishop here. Greg, can I castle here? Say no. No. Because the bishop controls that diagonal. You see that? Yeah. yeah. If a bishop controls any highway, the king can't cross danger. Oh, uh -huh. let's take another trick. What if I had a rook here? Can I castle? Say no. No. Because the king. Oh, because if the king can never cross danger. The rook is shooting the beam of light here. And therefore the rook can't, the, the king can't castle because the king will be uh, the king will be crossing danger. So you never can castle crossing danger, and you never can castle if you in check. 
Okay. And then, what happens if a pawn makes it to the other side? If my pawn becomes pawn a queen or any piece that you a like. Queen or, or what else? A rook or a bishop. Whatever. Knight. Or a knight. Only thing anything, that becomes anything a king. But a, anything but a king. a king. No, anything, anything, it's too, another thing, anything but a king and anything but remaining a pawn. Anything but remaining a what? A pawn. Now, there are some situations where you don't want to get a queen. But between me and you, you guys don't need to know that right now. <laughs> Just get the queen. But I'm going to show you a position. But is that a fact you can't get a king? You can't get a king, can you? Right. Let me just show you where. I'm going to show you a position where you don't want to get a queen. I'm going to show you guys this. All right. Let's say black has a king here. <laughs> and I have a pawn here. Let me get all these pieces off the board. I'm going to show you something. Okay. Let's pretend no other pieces on the board. Okay. Let me just get all these off. Okay. Let's get them off. Okay. I'm going to get them off. Okay. I'm going to show you a trick. This is very powerful. If I have a king here. In this position here, you don't want to get a queen. Let me show you why. If you get a queen, it's a stalemate. Let me show you why. Let's say I push and get a queen. Now black has nowhere to move. Do you see that? Stalemate. It's a stalemate. So black can't go here, it can't go there. You can't go there because it's a queen. So what do you do here? You get a rook. Okay. Now he can move here. You can go here. You can go here, you can go here, and here, and that's mate. See that? Uh, so just yeah, just for clarification there, checkmate, you cannot get another king. Is that correct? That's correct. But but there's another piece, throw the other piece in the fire. You can't, you can't remain a pawn, and you can't get another what? King. Right. So you got to talk about the pawn, too, because some people say, well, I want to keep it a pawn. No, you can't keep it a pawn. Now, you can become a bishop or a knight or a rook. So you have four options. How many options? Four. 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 Almost always, you're going to get a what? Queen. Yeah. You're queen. almost always going to get a queen, because you're not going to you're not gonna have that position. And, well, and, and do you, you not? Do, do, I'm you, 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 you have the. You don't want anything. What? What? What does that? What happens? You can keep that pawn, right? But that pawn can't, can't move I, any further. I just, I just said you can't keep the pawn unless you don't push it. Now here's a trick you can do. You don't have to push the pawn. <laughs> I, I haven't been able to put in the brake fluid yet, but it's okay. All if right. You don't push the, if you don't push the pawn, you're good. But if you push it, it's got to become. Look at down the board. It shows you your options. Once yeah. you push the board, those are your options. That's it. You have no Bishop, other options. Rook or Knight, Queen. But almost always you're gonna get to what? Queen. Queen. But do you now, do you have to? What's the value of the Queen? But you don't have to select any of them. Is that true? Yeah, I can you, keep my you got, pawn. You have to select. You have to select one of those. Why? Well, can I not keep my pawn? No, I just said that. You can't become, you can't. Does that what the rule says? That you must. I, I showed you the options. The times you cannot. I only have those four options, period. I just like saying you want to play, you want to, you want to shoot a three pointer, you want seven points. You, that's not, a, that you can't get, seven, that's not an option. If you shoot a three pointer, all we can give you is three. I'm sorry. I, when you, get, I you, when you create your game, then you can. But for right now, you. <laughs> I just like when you referee in soccer, okay? And like you said, if the guy, hits you, if if a coach hits you, is the game over? Is the game over? That's when your you, question. When you referee in soccer, Greg. If the coach hits you, can you take the whole game from him or no? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, you can't. When Say, can you repeat take, your question. Repeat your question. When you referee in soccer, if a coach. Mm -hmm. Hit you? Can you take the game from him and give it to the other team? Oh, you're, oh, you're talking about soccer now. I thought we we're still talking chess. You're talking soccer. I'm talking about you referee. You referee soccer. You yeah, I am a soccer referee. That's correct. All right. So if a I, coach hits you, can you take the game from him or no? Can you what? If a if you coach in if you referee in soccer, 
And yeah. When a coach hits you, can you take the game from him and give it to the other team or no? Coach. No. I... What 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 can you eject him? That's it. That's what. So if you if you referee in soccer and the coach hits you, can you eject him or does he lose the whole game? Oh, do you mean if a coach hits me? Yeah, in soccer. <laughs> the game is over. So you get a team. Well, well, well. Let me back up. Let me back up. If the coach hits me, that coach is going to be removed from the field. Okay. Okay. Is it? Is the, now, the game? Yeah. Continue? The game can go on, okay. but that coach has to leave the field Got totally. It. So when is it? When is it when you can take the game? I think he was telling me sometime. When can you take the game? What? What? What maneuver do they make if when you can take the game? What do they do if they if you take the game to forfeit the game? I thought you forfeit the game? Well, uh, a, a num it could be a different different circumstances of forfeiting the game. If, for example, I'm telling that, that coach who hit me, I, I'm telling him to leave. If he refuses to leave, the game is over. I okay, forfeit, yeah. and the other team gets the game, gets yeah. the, 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 the victory. Okay? Yeah. If you do not comply with the referee's request, you will eventually have to you know, the referee can call the game. Call the game. Okay, gotcha. Okay, now let me show you guys how to check. Can I ask one. a question, please, first? Yeah. About the point you were originally making. Is that true only in these this kind of digital game or if you are playing with live pieces in someone's living room? That when you when you the pawn gets up to the, the that back level. Yeah. So what would you have to have another piece? Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, most most chess boards come with an extra queen. Come with extra pieces. If you don't have an extra queen, you can tilt the pawn to the side, and it'll, and now know it's a queen. Or if you have a rook, you can flip the rook bottoms up down, and mm -hmm. bottoms down rook means I mean bottoms up rook means a queen. Okay, thank you. Mm. So yeah, you but you have yeah, to tell your opponent, the point you that, tell your the opponent point to the, that you want a queen that, because. Your opponent may try to trick you and put yeah. a knight on the board. Okay. Yeah, the point that point there, Orin, is, is nah, in fact. I want no knight. I want a queen. I ain't the point is, up, huh? The point is that there is no difference between the digital game and the real game. It's the right. same it's a, game. It's the same thing. Okay. Same game. Yeah, same game. So, Thank but, you. but a lot of times, if you buy a chessboard, it comes with an extra queen. Do you have a chessboard at mm home? -hmm. I do not. Okay. A lot of times when you buy one, they have an extra queen. Now I'm going to show you how to checkmate someone. Watch this trick. Okay. Let's say black has a king here. Mm -hmm. Black has a king here. And you have a rook here. What's, what's the winning move? Who can tell me the winning move? Now, Greg, you don't say anything. I need someone to volunteer and tell me the winning move for white. White has a winning move. What can white do to win the game? But whose move is it? It's white to move. Don't you say that, Greg. White to move and can win the game? Yeah, don't you say that, Greg. I want to get other people involved. Uh, right. uh, uh, the, the queen, queen, queen C, goes C3 to, to C7. Queen yeah. what? Yeah, I C3 suppose that. Yeah. C7. No. C7. White uh, queen C7. to C7. C7 the queen work. goes to H8. C7. The C7 queen work. goes to H8. Huh? The queen goes to H8. Who said that? H Godfrey. H Godfrey, no joke, boy. <laughs> That's checkmate. Now, look, don't get it twisted. Going to mm. C7 will win because he will go mm. here and then you just mate. Mm. But that's not what? the queen. Yeah. Go back there. Where, where can the queen go? Where can the king go if, if, if you were at checking him here? Right. Got two black kings on the board there. Okay, so so yeah. in this case here, when when he go here, go to twenty. Yeah, that's checkmate. Yeah, that's checkmate. It's okay. This is white queen. But yeah, where where can he go? He go here. Oh, okay. And then that's mate. But so it's just an extra move because then it becomes mate. What I'm making is C seven is okay, but this he can't get he can't get away though. The game is over immediately. Yes. Yes. Right, That's an extra get, move. That that was an excellent choice that uh 
I mean, brother made here to I go mean, on down I mean, down the road. That's the ex, that's the right move. But if you had made the other move, he'd still be a dead king. You'd be dying. You I couldn't get away. I would give you yeah, yeah, still gonna die anyway. So hang on. I will give you another test. God. All right. What's the winning move here for what's the winning move here for white? For white? White has a winning move. And I only want Carol to answer this. What oh, wait. Can, what can white do to win the game? Um, the um the the bishop? No. Nope. Uh Almost. The Queen of B eight. Who said B eight? Who said that? That was governor. Who? Governor. The person who speaks. Yeah. Right. That's mate. That is mate. Yep. Queen of B eight. All right. Now I'm gonna give somebody else a test. All right. What if um wow. That's good. I'm going to show you a trick here. What's the winning move here? For white? Uh, for, for black or for white? White white can move and win. B white can move B and win. Um, BG. Oh. Say what B now? B7. B B white has a winning move. What can he do? Doctor, what can you do? Three, D seven. Huh? D seven. Queen to what? Queen, queen to B eight. Queen where? Queen, queen to B eight. Yeah, who said that? Yeah, Stacy. Stacy, oh, Stacy is awesome. That's correct. Now you're giving the queen away. I take you. I take you. Your uh, my rook takes queen. Now what? Mm. Well, pawn takes the rook on B eight. And becomes a queen. Exactly. Who, who said that? I, <laughs> uh, I don't want to play good. Get out there and go good. watch that, yeah, chick man. Yeah, Get out and go watch. I definitely, I definitely don't want to play Stacey. You hear me? <laughs> 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 hey, Greg, play Stacey and give away free money. Stacey, you want to challenge me? Hey, listen, mm -hmm. I got a question for you, sir. Yeah. I, there's a school of thought that says a chess game is one in the middle of the board. Do you agree or disagree? No, that's that's inferior. Every game I ever won, the chess, the, 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 when I be, I can play, when I, every game I beat you, it was never in the middle of the board. Now, a lot of people will tell you control to center, and that's true to a point, but not to ridiculous. Let me tell you what I mean by that. When I was a state trooper, I used to patrol the center of my territory. So if I get an accident, I'll be close to the accident. And that's the same thing in chess. If I'm, if you centralize your queen, she can go anywhere quick. A queen in the center controls 27 squares. So if the queen is in the center, she's closer. So to a point, that's true. But it's not about the queen. It's about the king. If the king is weak, and if you get the king corner, you win the game. So the, the moral of the story is just if the king is weak, go out to the king and take the queen out. Now, Stacy, do you want to challenge me? Oh, challenge you right now? Yeah. What, to a new game? Yeah. Oh, dear. If you want. Yeah, and t tell him tell to take out the gold watch. Make sure he gets the gold watch out. <laughs> no, my, okay, I'm going to play Stacy. I say that. Come on, Stacy. I got Come on, Stacy. Okay, you got Stacey. this. Stacy, what color are you? Okay, uh, Stacy, you move there? Uh, no, uh, I'm going to move here. All right, hang what? on. Let me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Move, Stacy. Stacy, you move. Uh, they will throw us out All of right, Now, Stacy, when you touch it, you got to move it, okay? Mm. Let's move. All oh, right, okay. I'm a trick move. It's your move. Oof. That move is a trick move. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, he's vulnerable. Oh, mm. oh yeah, he's vulnerable from there and there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, don't say that, Greg. Yeah. Now it's my turn. I'm gonna steal that pawn. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, good move. Okay. 
Very good move. All right. Whoa. Oh, no, no. Jing. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Some of that stuff in the back out. <laughs> Got to move, Stacey. We about to we about to close out the class. Mm. Okay, good move. Very good move. Okay. Now she's coming in my house. Oh. Mm. 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 Okay. Great. Oh yeah. Oh. Mm. Mm. Okay, now I'll give away some material. Watch this trick move I do, class. One, two, turn. Mm -hmm. The knight move in a capital L. One, two, turn. You could do this. Mm -hmm. One, two, turn. And an L shape. One, two, turn. Turn. And a king would be in danger. Got to get that knight out of there. Here. Oh, I need to practice. Mm. <sighs> um, wait. Mm. Five seconds. You got to move. Time is ticking. I'm going to have to put you on the clock. If you don't move in five seconds, what happens? You don't lose, you lose the game. I'm telling, you, I'm telling you to move, though. I'm, I'm working with you. But I mean, in in real a real game. Yeah. I'll, have, I'll have a it have a clock running, like it yeah. have a clock running, right? Yeah. And okay. then you move, you hit the clock. And if you don't, if you don't move, you you gonna lose on time. You and move? a lot of times, people lose on time. Oh. Mm. Yeah, when I was playing the number two guy in the world, his, uh, his name is uh, Nakamura, and uh, I, lo I, I got, I lost track of time and ended up losing on time, but I was up a piece on the board. I was winning, but I got so caught up in winning the game, I forgot about the time. Mm -hmm. So you got to uh, stay focused on time. You move, you got to move. Uh, uh, move the bishop. I suggest you move the bishop. No coaching, no move, coaching. She got to move for herself. Uh, <laughs> no coaching, no coaching. When you get ready to take that exam. And, oh, oh, I see something. That's okay. True. Go for what you see. Uh, oh, you gonna give me that? Whoa. You going to give me that for free? Whoa. Mm. Okay. No block. Sorry. I, I, I got no that. No problem. I thought mm. he was in danger, but no, he's not. Mm, 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 mm. You gonna give me that? Oh, and that's the trick move I'm gonna do. Mm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, mm. fake, I'm gonna fake like I want that. That's just a fake move. Bishop Gustav. Get out of the way. <laughs> okay. Zoom, zoom. All right, about doing zoom, zoom. I see why you want to get some of the back pieces off the. Um, the subject. Um. Mm. Red and the king. That's the bishop to G five. All the Why stop? All right. So now, now, ma'am, now, men's, now, men. After uh, Ron. Mm. <clears throat> Very good move. Clean up, clean up. That was good, yeah. Very good move. Make we watch there. That piece that look free. Ah, <laughs> ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. Here we go, here we go, here we go. What are you going to do now, now? One, two, three. We got about two minutes. We got to go. You got to move. Mm -mm. 
Hello? What you gonna do now, now? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello? Hi. Moving in, boy. Coming in for the kill. Yeah, I'm moving my. I rock up there to get your. You see that pond? Getting up there to that. Keep. Keep. Keepers. Faces. One, two, three. Well, let's see. One. Uh, that was a good move. Uh -uh. One, I could take that or I can push. We need to practice seeing these. Time contract, time contract. Yeah. All right. 151. I'm the referee. You're the referee? Hmm. Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. He can get your king. That's right. He mm -hmm. can get your king if you don't do something. <laughs> <laughs> can you pass him more than one time? Can you change places with the? No, 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 no. That's it. Okay. That's it. Bishop, uh, what you going to do? All right. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, I see something. Mm. Yeah. Well, he'll have to move first. Yummy. Oh. Yeah, I would get my, my knight out of there. One, two, three. Come on, checkmate. Get out of pre-K, man. You're on the ground level. If this was for all the money, would you, you just six. had this game over with? To E6. I got to put on Wait, the clock. Or do you really want to give away the goal watch? I got to put on the clock. Come on. Oh, come on. Uh, Stacy. No. That's a Come sacrifice on, move there. You don't see that? I don't want to say <laughs> that. Sacrifices okay. must be made. I won't use the word horse, but um hmm? that's the I don't think they let ladies do that in the real game. I like the orange curtains. No, I want the blue curtains. Uh. Oh, we had somebody in danger. Yeah, he's protecting these people now. So, to G5. What to G5? Okay, it's time to go. <laughs> Uh, she not. I gotta, put, I gotta put her on the clock. She's not moving fast enough. It's one fifty-two. Uh, I want to respect your time. Any Thank question you. before we close out, Jane? Did we make did any announcements, Jane? Uh, no, I don't have any announcements. No announcements. Well, ex except for the the drama club presentation at five o'clock today. What do, uh, does people have to? What do they gotta do? Uh, mm -hmm. Go to the website and there's a registration link. Uh, Are you guys familiar with that announcement? No, what is it about? Yes. Drama Club. The Drama Club has a presentation for Senior Center Month at 5 o'clock. If you go to the website, there's a link that allows you to register and you will be sent a link to join at 5 o'clock. Whoa. Okay. So, what did they got to do? Uh, oh, just that was a great move. To do the link. What, do they, what, what, do, what do they need to do? 
register through the link on the website. Y'all, y'all clear on what he just said? Yes. All right. Well, hey, hey, Orin, can you freeze this board and continue this game next Tuesday? Uh, yeah. No, we can't freeze the board because it's not in the. Uh, I'm not in the regular app. But I'll play. I'll. We'll continue. I'm, next time we play, I'm gonna put the clock. Listen, man, you, hey, listen, you, you, you just need to send Stacy that gold watch, man. You, 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 no, you blew you gotta, this. Come on now, you Jay. blew this, man. You lost, checkmate. No, I'm a referee. I'm going to tell you, man, you lost this game. Right, I don't man, agree. Got, agree. No. Send gotta, Stacey the gold watch, please. Is there a way for us to practice in between? <laughs> listen, what we're going to do is next week we're going uh, to put you on the clock. <laughs> Because see, in chess you gotta you gotta be on the clock, and that's why I was telling you you were you know it's all good. Man, we'll play on the I've clock been watching you for for over two years, checkmate, and I've never and seen you, a game I'll give I'll you so much trouble. He was trying to help her. Orin, yes, is there a way? You know, can can we? Um, Eric, uh, Godfrey, um, Margaret, can we get each other's emails and practice so we are not so bad? Wow. Great yeah, another thing you all can do is a, please. Uh, what we what you can do is get a uh, account on chess.com. Chess.com. Oh. So everybody get a chess.com because at the last week I'm gonna let everybody play each other. So y'all need to get ready. Chess.com. So what do we have on chess.com? We have practice that we can all get on. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Good. Great. Eric, can we uh, practice? James, you good? I mean, James, we good? Right. I, I, yeah, I want to be a part of this because I need to practice. Okay, so <laughs> go to chess.com slash – everyone email me, and I'm going to send you the uh, B-71 link you got to go to. So okay. everyone email me at orin at b-71.org, and I'm going to send you the uh, chess.com link that we're going to go to. That way, we'll, everybody will be on the clock. And when you play on the clock, It'll, you everybody that way you'll see what you'll have the same amount of time as your opponent. I'm not ready for that yet, but at least and when we when we email you, then uh, will we see each other's emails? That's what we need so we can connect. Say it one more time. We need to see a way to connect with each other at the right time and all that. So when we email you, would you send out that list of who's on this call now? Except for those who are experts, just the amateurs. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> everybody just send me an email and I'll let everybody do Am it. I right, e Eric? Uh, I'm right you're, right. you're right. You're right. I'm an amateur with you. Huh? Just let need, everybody just do that. Practice. So we need each other's emails, is what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So please include me because I'm still in pre K. <laughs> it's, it's, it's go to be someone.org or in be someone.org. Okay. And everybody can do that. Okay. All right, guys. Well played, Stacy. Well played. You we deserve to go. Well played, Stacy. Well played, Stacy. We can play well on the weekend. We can play Friday. Yeah, be uh, someone dot org or at be someone dot org. Send me the link, and I'll send you the. Uh, Sounds good. I'll send you the chess dot com. That way, everybody will be on the clock. Now, when y'all play each other for the tournament, you guys going to be on the clock, so you got to move pretty quick. Yeah, I understand that, but we, we, we'll get there. You get there? Okay. Just, just, what's just, what's just, the time limit on the clock? Believe me, it, it, we, we're talking it's gonna about... It's going to be about five, four, four or five minutes each. Okay. Thank you, Oren. Right, I love this. Right, I nice love this. Greg, Greg, you clear on what they got to do? They they clear about the thing? I mean, James? Yes. Okay. All right. Peace and blessings. I'll see you guys next week. Okay.